are enough opportunities in the form of national cadet corps which is there uh, those of us who get a chance to do it in school there is a certain exposure you get because ncc automatically whether it is an air wing ncc or a naval wing or an army wing ncc you are typically connected to the services in some way because there is an instructor who comes he puts you through the spaces of parades then there is rank equivalent that is mm -hmm. not in you are given exposure to some amount taken on some visits so ncc is one excellent opportunity absolutely so as many people who can possibly capitalize on that should whether it is in school and those of us who missed out in school can give it a shot at the college now uh, uh, defense and strategic studies what you were asking at least in chennai there are at least couple of places where this uh, specific faculty is there but i'm not too sure if uh, everybody would be wanting to do that know that and uh, you know uh, what i would uh, say is that there are many ways in which people can typically contribute in the sense some discussion we had some other time also where you want to make the nation self reliant absolutely you yeah. can take part in this uh, campaign for atmanirbharta where uh, the kind of make in india campaign that is happening the import substitution you want to do yes those of us who want to become soldiers brilliant but those of us who have the ability in us to do these things take some take up some entrepreneurial thing and work towards that i think even that is a contribution to the nation's might as well we select people and send them to the iits for getting to do their masters so year on year i would say somewhere around 50 to 60 people get a chance to go to the top institutes in the country to get to do their masters so the graduate engineers who join army should they show potential and if their performance is good they'll get a chance to go and do masters in one of the elite institutions of the country let me put it this way yes sir you know, what uh, what is not known to people is the kind of opportunities that you get inside the organization let me come to the pay and perquisites part slightly later because pay is important but beyond a point pay is not very important it's a sense that there is a point of time when it no longer is so if you look at it from a 360 degree perspective what the organization has got to offer whether it is a kind of terrain that you get to serve in is something which you don't get to in other uh, career opportunities whether it is the glaciers of sachin or the jungles of the northeast or the deserts of rajasthan and also a little known fact is that we are the largest contributors to the contingents of united nations peacekeeping forces all over the world so a lot of officers get a chance to go abroad serve in un nations rub shoulders with armies of other worlds and a selected lot of people also get a chance to train abroad there are people who get to go to the us uh, the american uh, U us war college army war college in us or to the institutions in uk or in germany or in france or in japan so of course the best of the best only get a chance to go there so these are all opportunities something which doesn't come so very easily and a lot of training program that you do even within the country there are opportunities for you to rub shoulders with the uh, members of defense forces from other countries as well so there is so much of uh, collaborative learning opportunities that happens so much of learning about the other cultures other uh, countries that you get to learn something which doesn't happen now one other thing which uh, the armed forces typically has to offer is the adventure and sports the access to adventure and sports and the opportunity is something which is not so very easily available and especially i would call it as a niche category sports like sailing rowing equitation then uh, shooting or uh, for the matter any 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 sport you take or even skydiving parasailing then uh, paragliding then um, what you call uh, ski jumping you name a thing the opportunities are available in the armed forces and we have those specific training nodes like there is an army yachting node in mumbai which trains people that is possibly one of the reason why you know whether it is asian games or it is commonwealth games or it is olympics you know some names that straight away come to your mind the silver medalist colonel rajyavardhan singh rathor is there yes the okay. ace sprinter melka singh is again an ex army person major jan singh that legendary hockey player and that shooter vijay kumar sharma who took a silver medalist in olympics so these are all things you know uh, it's very difficult to quantify and say that this translates to something and the biggest thing about our organization is once you join the organization and you are part of the ecosystem you are taken care of 
your extended family is also taken care of irrespective of the place where you might be at any point of time you could be very well serving in sachin you could be serving in the jungles of northeast but if your family is wherever it is the local formation or the unit will always endeavor to reach out to them and see to it that they are kept comfortable and their immediate requirements are met so that kind of a family bonhomie and that camaraderie and the sense to look after that extended irrespective and there have been any number of instances where a soldier has attained martyrdom but then it is not that uh, the family is forgotten the connect with the family is maintained the children of the family are uh, encouraged to do well there are quotas available for uh, the gallantry award winners there are quotas available for people who been martyred in various uh, operations so these are all things you know it's very difficult to put a price on uh, sure. these kind of things and uh, you know the sense of belongingness and the fact that you are part of an extended family and that you continue to be even after you are no longer in active service so even after a soldier retires or an officer or anybody for that matter i mean soldier is a generic term which is better that way absolutely yeah. he continues to be part of the family and his interests and requirements are constantly met whether it is medical facilities or anything for that matter anybody in distress there is a redressal and a response mechanism in place